Seven more people in Hawaii have died from the coronavirus. Two were connected to a cluster in a Hilo veteran's home we told you about yesterday. The other five are on Oahu. The seven raises the total number of confirmed deaths since the start of the pandemic to 70. The state health department also reports 133 new cases. Most are on Oahu with 24 on the big island, one on Maui and one Hawaii resident diagnosed out of state. The state's new total is 8,472, more than 5,800 of which are active. And sadly, Mayor Harry Kim announced a third Hawaii Island death this afternoon. Now, that number is not included in today's data. All three Big Island deaths were residents at the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home. Nikki Schoenfeld has more. The Veterans Home says they believe a staff member brought the virus into the facility. Now they're doing everything they can to isolate COVID positive residents and staff members, and they will continue retesting in the coming days. Hawaii Island recorded one week of double digit increases. The county now has 179 active cases and has been actively testing across the island. So we've seen our numbers around the 5% range, which it used to be like. 0.01 and it worked up. The majority of COVID positive cases are in the Hilo area. One case was identified at the Yukio Okutsu Veterans Home during random testing last week. We had uh, a positive staff member that we found at that time just doing the random testing. So that's when it all started. Since then, they've been doing testing every two to three days. So far, 28 residents and 10 employees have tested positive for the virus. The state-owned facility works in conjunction with Hilo Medical Center, where three COVID residents are currently hospitalized. The East Hawaii CEO at Hilo Medical Center says nursing homes have been rigorous in prevention protocols. Because our staff live in the community and they interact, they're not in a protected bubble. And uh, what happened is, you know, we have an employee contract community-based COVID and they come to work, they don't know they're symptomatic or that they have it. And by the time we catch them with random testing, they've already worked a couple of shifts and away it goes. The facility's administrator says all employees are temperature checked and fill out a health questionnaire daily. They will continue with another round of testing today. Brinkman says Hilo Hospital is about 82% full. He says they have enough PPE for now, but says staffing is an issue. We're doing okay right now, so knock on wood, uh, we're, we're holding stable and I'm cautiously hopeful we'll start seeing a gradual uh, reversal and decline the other way because I think people out there are scared. Mayor Kim says he doesn't think a shutdown is necessary at this time and they'll be working with Premier Medical Group for another week of testing. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.